let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. The last 30 minutes, including the overtime, um, we were just serving a lot of balls in and before the goal. I mean, we had lots of chances, everyone did. Um, we were taking good long range shots and um, finally we just connected on them. Um, it was a good ball by Reese. We were attacking deep and the ball came out and uh, we played it wide to, to Reese, who was attacking from the right back position. And she uh, she served a beautiful ball out of, in, into the second six and um, Becca had gotten an angle. She held the player off and, and flicked it over the goalie. and. Uh, there's really not much you can do to defend that. It was a beautiful serve and uh, a really great goal. She dominates everything in the air, which is it's incredible how many balls she wins. That's why we were kind of just launching them up there, hoping she get ahead on it. She uh, worked her way through the defender and had a great first goal. It completely changed the game. The momentum shifted completely. Every time we put the ball in the box, we're almost guaranteed a goal by Becca, which is really nice feeling to have. and. Really, it was just a huge momentum shifter, which led us to the second goal. Well, the second goal was uh, more of an effort goal. Um, we were really chasing at that point to give enough uh, pressure on the ball to create an angle and to create an opportunity. And uh, we found the ball at the midfield. Carter played a ball into Beck, and she had to fight through two tackles and pushed it by the keeper. And uh, you know, that's the kind of game. That's the kind of goal that you you score in overtime to win a game. If you uh, you know, if you just want it more. So I, I hope that becomes sort of uh, emblematic of uh, uh, the kind of team we have. In overtime, we decided we weren't going to lose. So um, I don't even remember who played the ball, but it was a good ball. And um, luckily, we capitalized on it. I thought our intensity and commitment to the game in the last 20, 25 minutes was tremendous. I think it really bodes well for the future. We learned a lot about ourselves this game. So the field sort of tilted for us, and we were just attacking. and. Winning balls at the halfway line and, and, and reserving. Well, I think definitely at halftime, our coaches um, riled us up a little bit. We knew that we weren't playing very well in the first half and something needed to change. And the coaches made us aware of that. And as players, we took initiative and started to press the ball a lot harder in the second half. We probably doubled our chances in the, the last little bit from the first half. And we were pounding them. I don't think they had a single shot on goal in the second half. It's a different team than we've been on in the past. We uh, are really passionate, and we finally got to show that in the last 20 minutes and over time. Uh, we got it in our head that we were not losing, and um, I think that mindset shift um, really helped us. And I mean, we were strictly offense for 30 minutes. I don't even know if it got past um, the half. So exciting. I mean, we lost a couple games in overtime last year, which were really heartbreaking, and I think with this team this year, it's completely different, and the fact that we were, we were able to pull through um, really is a confidence booster for us this season, the rest of the A-10.